today's video i am going to explain a problem on non homogeneous reference relation and this topic is related to the discrete mathematics and let's get started to solve the reference relation an is equal to 4 times of an minus 1 minus 4 times of an minus 2 plus n plus 1 into 2 power n so as we have rhs part here we say that this is a non homogeneous reference relation so for solving this what is the given recurrence relation the given recurrence relation is the given recurrence relation is a n minus 4 times of a n minus 1. So here if we send to other side this will be plus 4 a n minus 2 is equal to this is n plus 1 times of 2 power n. Now the associated homogeneous equation is now the homogeneous recurrence relation is see here this will be a n minus 4 times of a n minus 1 plus 4 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 0 and now the characteristic equation its characteristic equation is its characteristic equation is Now, its characteristic equation is it's of order 2. It will be r square minus 4r plus 4 is equal to 0. So, what will be the factors for this? So, this will be r minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. And this is r minus 2 into r minus 2 is equal to 0. So, we got the roots as 2 comma 2. So, these are equal roots. Now, how to write, write the solution? Therefore, the homogeneous solution AH is the homogeneous solution the homogeneous solution that is a n of h is equal to as these are equal roots this is a c1 plus a c2n into this will be 2 power n so this will be 2 power n and see now here the rhs is nothing but n plus 1 n plus 1 times of 2 power n. Now, how to write the particular solution? The particular solution will be, see here, so as we have 2 as a 2 comma 2 as a characteristic roots, since, see here, since the RHS, since the RHS of the recurrence relation is, what is the RHS part? n plus 1 times of 2 power n. So, this is n plus 1 times of this is 2 power n. And the next one, it is also known that they are the characteristic roots as 2 comma 2. And 2 comma 2 is the characteristic is the characteristic root of the recurrence relation. And here you have to note that 2 is repeated twice. 2 is repeated twice. So, it is repeated twice. So, now we assume the particular solution. See here. Now, in this case, we assume. We assume the particular solution. Particular solution. As. See here, the particular solution A and at P, the particular solution will be, this is a C1 plus a C2N into, as it as 2 is repeated for twice, so this will be N square into 2 power N. So, this is the particular solution and this is the homogeneous solution. And now, using the solution in the given recurrence relation. So, what is the recurrence relation here? The recurrence relation is given as, see now. This is a n minus 4 times of a n minus 1 plus 4 times of a n minus 2 is equal to this is n plus 2 n plus 1 into 2 power n. Now what is the particular solution here that is a n at p is equal to this is a c1 plus a c2 n into this will be 2 power n into n square. Now, using the solution in the recurrence relation, we have, if we substitute here, so for in place of a, a n, so we can write as a c1 
plus c two n into this is two power n into n square minus this is four times of a n minus one. In place of n, we have to keep n minus one. So this will be c one plus c two of in place of n. I am writing n minus one into in place of n again. This is n minus one. This is n minus one whole square. And again plus four times of. So this is plus four times of. In place of n, we have to keep n minus two this time. That is c one plus c two of n minus two. This is two power. This is n minus two in place of n. We have to write this is n minus two whole square is equal to. So what is there here? This is n plus one into two power n. Now we have to solve this. So for solving this, I am taking two power n common. So if I take this two power n common here from this, from these terms, if I take two power n. And cancel on both sides. Then see what happens here. If I take two power n common, then this will be n square times of this is a c one plus a c two n. So in this case, this is four two power n. It is taken out, and there will be by two, and this is a c one plus a c two n. So this is c two n minus again c two, and this is closed, and this will be. A square plus B square minus two AB. Got it? And the next one, this will be four times of. So in this case, two power n it is sent out, and there will be two one by two square. So this is nothing but four. And if I multiply this, this will be C one plus C two n minus two C two into See here, this is into, and what is there here? Expansion of n minus two whole square. So this is a square plus b square minus two ab into. This is n plus one times of two power n. Now I can easily cancel this two power n on both sides, and after cancelling this one, this goes with two times, and this goes in one time, and see what happens. What remains here? So this is again the next step here is n square times of this is c one plus c two n, and this is minus two times of c one plus c two n minus c two into this is n square plus one minus two n, and here this will be of c one plus c two n. Minus C here. This is minus two C two. So this is C two. So this is correct only C one plus C two. So this is C one plus C two n minus two C two. So this is minus two C two. And again, what happens here? This will be n square plus four minus four n is equal to here in this side R H S. This is n plus one. Now we have to solve for the values of c1 as well as c2. So in this equation, so this is equation number a, and in this, if we put n is equal to zero, see here what happens if we put n is equal to zero. So zero into anything is zero, and here what remains here? I'll show you. That is, so this is zero minus two times of this is independent. That is c1. This is again zero. This is a c2. Okay. So this is zero and this is zero into one, and see here. Here, if we put n n is equal to zero, so this will be c one minus two c two. This is zero and this is zero, and this will be four. If we put n is equal to zero, what remains? One remains. So if I multiply this one, this will be two c one minus of minus plus two c two, and this is c one. So this is four. 4c1 and this will be minus 8c2 is equal to 1. So now see, so this is, see here, so this is c1 and this is c1. So this will be 2c1. So this will be 2c1 and again this is c2 and this is c2 and so this will be minus 6. Minus a 6c2 is equal to 1. So if I take two common, then this will be c1 minus 3c2 is equal to 1. Therefore, 
c1 minus 3 c2 is equal to half. So, we got an equation as a c1, the first equation as a c1 minus 3 c2 minus 3 c2 is equal to half. So, this I am giving as the number 1. So, this is equation number 1. And so, from this equation A, if we put n is equal to 0, we got this equation. Now, for solve, we have to solve for the constant value C1 and C2. See here. Now, if you see this equation A. So, what is this equation A? So, this equation A is nothing but, see here, this is n square times of C1 plus a C2n. If I multiply with 2, so 2 into, so this will be minus or plus. So, if I multiply with minus 2, this will be minus 2 n square minus 2 and minus of minus plus 4 n into this is a C1 plus a C2 n minus C2 and so see this one. So, this will be of uh, n square plus 4 minus 4 n into this equation is a C1 plus a C2 n minus 2 C2 is equal to n plus 1. So, this is nothing but equation number A. So, in this equation, if we compare the portions of n on both sides, on comparing, on comparing, the quotients of n on both sides. See what happens on both sides if we compare. So, here if I multiply, there is no n term. So, this is n cube. So, see here. So, this is n square. So, this is n cube and this is again n square. So, if I multiply with this, so this is no n quotient. So, see here. So, if I multiply these two, see here the quotients of, so this will be minus 2 c2, the first one and next this is a constant. So, if you see here the quotients of n, so this will be the quotient of n. And C and next one, this will be the quotient of N. So, this is 4C1. This will be 4C1. And next one, if I multiply, this will be minus 4C2. So, in this case, so if I multiply these two, there is no N quotient. So, if I multiply these two, it's a constant. And see here, so if you observe this one, so this will be 4C2. So, this is again 4C2 and no n quotients. So, if I multiply these two, if I multiply, so we will be getting an n quotient as uh, minus 4C1. So, this is minus 4C1 and the next one n square. See here, the next thing I can multiply these two for n quotient. So, this will be minus into minus plus 8. So, this is plus 8C2 and here the quotient of n is 1. See here, got it. Now, I can cancel. That is plus 4C1 here and minus 4C1 here. And see here, I can cancel plus 4C2 and minus 4C2 this time. And what remains? So, this is C2 and this is C2. And now, minus 2C2. See here, minus 2C2 plus 8c2 is equal to 1. So, this will be 6c2 is equal to 1. I got the value of uh, c2 as 1 by 6. And after getting the value c2 as 1 by 6, I will consider this equation as 2. So, we have equation number 1. So, what is equation number 1? Equation number of 1 is c1 minus 3c2 is equal to half is our first equation. So, in this equation, if I put the value of c2 as 1 by 6, see here, this is 1 by 6 times of this is half. So, if I cancel this for half times, this will be minus half is equal to plus half. Therefore, C1 is equal to half plus half and the C1 value here is 1. So, we got the value of C1 as 1 and C2 as 1 by 6. Therefore, R particular solution particular solution is equal to c1 plus c2n into this is n square into 2 power n so as we know that our particular solution assumption is 
c1 plus c2n 2 power n into n square. So, if we put the values of c1 and c2 here in this equation, then our particular solution will become c1 value is nothing but 1 and c2 value is nothing but 1 by 6. So, if I substitute 1 by 6 here, then c. So, this will be n square into 2 power n. And we know pretty well that our uh, homogeneous solution is nothing but our homogeneous solution just now we calculated. So, our homogeneous solution is nothing but c1 plus c2n into 2 power n. So, this is c1 plus c2n into this is 2 power n. So, our general solution now becomes therefore the general solution. Now, the general solution a n is equal to the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. Now, if I add these two, this will be C1 plus C2n into 2 power n plus and this will be, so this will be 1 plus. So, if I multiply this 1 plus 1 by n into, this is n square into 2 power n. So, even if I multiply this one, so this will be a n times of this is a C1 plus a C2n and uh, this will be if I multiply this will be n square this is n cube by 6 into this will be 2 power n. So this is C1 plus C2n plus n square plus n cube by 6 into 2 power n. So this will be the general solution for the given non-homogeneous Lucrens relation. See here let me explain you it's so easy. So as there is an RHS part so this is a non-homogeneous Lucrens relation. So, first we have to write the homogeneous equation. So, equating the RHS to 0 and we have to frame the characteristic equation. It will be R square minus 4R plus 4 and after getting the roots as 2 comma 2. So, these are equal roots and therefore and this will be the homogeneous solution. So, if we get equal roots, we are going to write as C1 plus C2n into 2 power n. So, since the RHS is n plus 1 into 2 power n and again 2 comma 2 are the characteristic roots. So, uh, we have to assume the particular solution as a C1 plus C21 into n square into 2 power n. Now, this is the recurrence relation and this is a particular solution. So, if we substitute the values here, in place of n minus 1, we have to keep n minus 1 and in place of n minus 2, we have to keep n minus 2 and substitute. And equation A, after getting equation A, we have to put n is equal to 0. So, that we will be getting one equation. So, in order to get C1 and C2, we are doing this. If we put n is equal to 0 we got one equation and after comparing equation a after comparing the quotients of n on both sides of equation a so we got another equation and we got in that c2's value as 1 by 6 so if we substitute the c2 value in equation 1 we got c1 as 1 so this is our particular solution in this c1 value is 1 and c2 value is 1 by 6 so our general solution is obviously uh, the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. Thank you so much for watching and this is most most important solution and if you really like please practice definitely you can solve your own and pass it on to as many friends as you can. Thank you so much.